Right, I'm out and about again on another walk vlog. Windy for day today too. Don't know if it's going to piss down, I hope not because I haven't got my waterproof camera with me today, just got my normal camcorder. Uh, just passing the Denby Castle, uh, hope you can hear me. Just about to enter the Gwynyai, the woodland behind Denby Castle. As you can see, the, uh, the old leaves are coming down thick and fast now. Uh, as I say, I am now walking my way through the Gwynyai, or Denby Woods. I think the kids of today, well, most kids of today, they don't call it the Gwynyai, they just call it the Denby Woods, but when I was a kid, it's, uh, you know, it was known as the Gwynyai. Just to spend nearly every day in this place. It makes dens, swings, we generally just hang about here. Just to spend time in the cave called the Cat's Eyes, which I've mentioned before in a few other videos. It's part of the uh, Denby Town Walls up there, which I've also featured in a few videos as well on my other channel, Denby Vids. <clears throat> Just passing uh, Cat's Eyes, which is the uh, cave there, which I've featured in quite a few videos. You can just see the entrance there, there's an entrance there, there's an entrance at the bottom there, and the actual Cat's Eyes is at the top there. If you want to know why it's called Cat's Eyes, then check out my other videos on my, uh, as I say, my other channel, Denby Vids. Which is, obviously, all videos about Denby. Denby and surrounding area. Gotta watch these fucking steps. Bloody slippy. These fucking leaves don't help. <clears throat> And there it is, the infamous Goblin Tower. Or the haunted Goblin Tower. Many a strange paranormal experiences I've had in that place, inside and outside. And there again, I check out my other video, Denby Vids, they're all on it. If you're into your ghosts, orbs and ghostly screams and all sorts. Trying to brighten up now. Uh, they have promised rain for more or less about dinner time, 12 noon, something like that. So I hope it's not too bad because as I say, I've only got a normal camcorder with me today. And camcorders and rain, it's not a good fucking combination because it fucks them up. Very windy too. Great day for a walk. It's going yike. Now then, that place you can see in the distance there is Howell's School. It's a girls boarding school. That's part of it there as well. That's the older building there. And that is an absolutely massive complex. It's like the fucking mental, the North Wales Hospital. It's, it's absolutely fucking ginormous. You can't appreciate it from here. When you're looking up towards, well, I, there again, I'm repeating myself, but I've done a video from up the side of the Goblin Tower, looking down onto the Howell School complex. And you can, uh, See how big it is, it's fucking massive and it's closing down. You know, it's been going for fucking years and years and fucking years and like another fucking big complex 
Denbeat shutting down, something to do with money and whatever. Um, and it's just, I suppose it'll be just a matter of time before it ends up like the mental fall into fucking bits. Fucking sad. I'll just show you now, I'm just a bit lower down this field. You could just probably make out a bit more of the buildings there. It's absolutely ginormous, complex, just like the mental, you know. But, as I say, it'll probably just fucking fall to rack and ruin. They'll get a security guard there for a year or two and then that'll fucking disappear and, and the vandals and the fucking looters and whatever will fucking move in and strip the place and wreck it and just like the mental. Anyway, sad really. Gotta watch this bloody path here, the mud is fucking slippy. Not too bad here though, it's a bit, bit lower down, higher up there it was uh, bad. I may have to shout sometimes in this video because the uh, wind gets pretty strong at times. Anyway, keep going. And that's looking back towards the Guignai. Just make out. Well, you can probably see. Hang on, just turn to the side there. Probably make out a bit of the castle. Debbie Castle. And I've actually got a pass, a free pass to get into the castle. Um, if you're a Denby resident, hope you can hear me, this fucking wind. Uh, if you're a Denby resident, you live within a certain radius of the castle, you get a free pass. All you've got to do is have a passport photo, take you to the library, and they get a, they make up a pass. It's free of charge. You don't, that doesn't cost you anything. And it lasts for three years, and you can get into the Denby castle for nothing. Map as many times as you want, but I've never used it yet. I've had it a few months now, but I've never got round to to using it. I've been in the fucking castle. You know, it's, it's loads of ways you can get in when we were kids. You, you know, you can't do it when it's open. Obviously, you've got to go there when it's shut. But this pass, I can go there when it's open. Um, yeah. Anyway, I have to say I'll have to get round to doing. I have to shout, I think. I don't know if you can hear me. I have to get used to um, uh, doing a video of the castle. I have to get round to it, get it sorted. Anyway, keep going. Don't get blown away! Oh, shit! Right, just passing behind the mental or North Wales Hospital um, as Denbyites. We don't call it the North Wales Hospital, we just call it the mental. And I have been on one or two videos mentioning that I am organising a shoot at the uh, mental, but trying to get it organised is a fucking nightmare. I'm trying to get a meet up with a mate of mine. And get a you know a shoot on the uh, film of the, the mental, but it's just it's just trying to get it together. It's just not fucking working at the moment. Um, firstly, it was the weather fucked things up. We had it all arranged. Then he couldn't make it, and I couldn't make it, and then the weather fucked things up again. But it is on the cards. It will happen. <laughs> when I don't know, but it will happen. Anyway. 
keep going. Now this building, or the ruin of what's left of a building, was uh, something to do with the Denby Dam, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, going back many, many, many years, I'm not sure the exact dates, but you know, you're talking, I don't know, many years anyway. Don't know much about the history of the dam myself, but I'll just show you this building. As I say, it had something to do with the uh, the dam, which is uh, over up in that direction, which I'll show you in a minute. You can see how old this building is, or that tree there. You can see it's grown inside the actual building. You can see how big that thing is. So that gives you an idea of how old this building is, or what's left of it, I should say. I'll show you the, uh, well, what's remained, the remains of the uh, dam now, the old Denby Dam. And there it is, that's what's left, of the, that's the remains of what was the Denby Dam. Just that chunk of rock there, and also, you can just see a little bit of it there as well. And there'll be a lot of Denbyites will have, uh, as kids, will have come here swimming because it's the deepest part of the river. I used to come here swimming, um, and you, they'll have seen this lump of rock. But there'll be a lot of people who won't know what it is. They won't uh, know that it actually was a dam. And as I can show you there, that's where we used to jump in because it is very deep there. Uh, so anyway, as I say, I just thought I'd show you the uh, remains of the Denby Dam. So keep going on my walk. Quite sheltered from the wind here too. Looks like it's gonna fucking piss down. Getting black up there. That's where I started the walk. Denby Castle, that's where I parked her and started the walk. Uh, it's windy as fuck, but at least the rain has kept off. Although, saying that, I think it's about to fucking piss down. So, I just gotta drop down to the path, bottom path now, and 
retrace my steps uh, back to the castle, so I won't bore you with that. <coughs> oh, it now it's hell of a windy day. Anyway, thanks for joining me on my windy walk vlog. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.